Gali bulk water treatment plant um, is actually in the bigger picture and the bigger target of reaching 100% water supply access to the national at the national level but also it, it comes from uh, the target that we have since uh, the year 2000 with the uh, vision 2020 of the country. Uh, we were usually uh, used to, to get water treatment plants that are based on the surface water. So the idea of actually going a little bit underground was also something that we wanted to test from, not only to reach the target, but also to diversify the technologies. The project is actually giving us 40,000 cubic meters per day. It's so obvious that the plant uh, is actually within the, the, the whole idea of actually making sure that we can provide proper service to our customers, but even not only present customers, but even future customers. Since we started this project implementation, it's been more than five years, and through that, it was a learning experience. You know, you have a water, and water is just like a primary need for anyone. And same thing as the area where we used to have some complaints, which today are no longer there. There's nothing as exciting as seeing your customers happy. Ani ge waja gudje nda wasanga ba mwezi kwa waje waje mjito nuko jira mugo sasa utaravo makuwe ra ba mwezi wa waka wabziga na hatu wa wanya nje nje wa waje hii ge waje nda kuka garu. Kwa watahira hukwe raba mwenshi wa hari hafu magaba mwafitin bara gawa waga wuna basura. Kwa wala kuna amazi ya liari jeze ajeri na hamu vudesira kwa wana amazi ya liari hizozi. Letu ziko ataza atu jela utu mba gari hizozi ataza azi. Aku yungusu wa nohone turishi ni kani turashi ni wa mshinga. Kukua atu ya jereja amazi hafu. Kwa gula gimboga kumufungo. Mufungo imboga muna kawagula mafrangi jana. Aku musu wa none kwa kutu kwa wanya mazi Ufitu tulimatu kujikoni Wate tulimatu kujikoni Tulavu wa miraya mazi Hachi wazo kufitu Eta reta numba tuwa ishi mira kuko Kwa ya wanya mjie tuwa etu ya shaka Kani humwa fiti chifu uzo nyuko Ahata rajera Na hoba ya hajeza kujirango Kuzuma kwa wazo jende mwesi Mbele ya watura jubari wa fiti wazo Vijie vita anukanyo vijishi Adimo yivazo jambu vijo kutajiri suku Kuma mazi mavi ndetse nabana babo umugiye bajyaga ku ishuri ugasanga bamwe bagiye batakarabye cyangwa se ugasanga bakoresha ya mazi mari bavomaga mu bishanga bikaba byabatera inzoka uburwayi buhoraho ariko nyuma yuko twabonye uruganda rwa mazi rwubatse mu mudugudu wa Karumuna byaradufashije kuko ubona ko ubuzima bw'umuturage bwa bana babo ugagiye bugenda buba bwiyongera ndetse n'isuku riyongera kubera ko twabonye amazi kandi atwegereye meza And PPP stands for Public-Private Partnership, and this is about partnership. This is about partnership between the private sector developers such as ourselves, between the government entities, between the funding entities. So, for example, we have the first PPP wastewater project in Saudi Arabia, in Dammam. Uh, we have uh, the uh, first uh, uh, PPP water project in Serbia, so that's our entry into Europe. Um, we have been the largest uh, investor into the Chinese wastewater PPP program with uh, 11 projects um, as a foreign investor. Um, and now here, uh, we're very proud to be in this first uh, PPP bulk water supply project in Sub-Saharan Africa here in Kigali. Uh, having a PPP project uh, is, is one which we believe is the most efficient and sustainable way to implement these type of large infrastructure projects. Because we reach complete alignment of interest and we have everybody working together. Um, as the investor, developer into the project, we build it, we operate it, we own it uh, for 27 and a half years in the case of this particular project. Uh, so we are looking at the long-term sustainable operations of the plant. Um, we, we have no incentive to cut corners. We're fully aligned uh, to look at the long-term operations. Um, we are about contributing to the communities that we are in and the basics of what we are doing is supplying water to people. Bugacera did not have a constant piped water supply before. So the stories that we hear of appreciation of people now able to turn their taps and receive 24-7 water 
is something we are extremely proud of. Uh, today we supply 27% uh, uh, of the water of the city of Tulali, or 19% of the pipe water supply in the whole country. So it's a very significant supply and that's enabling a lot of development to take place and a basic enabler of human life. We are a region that has been known for um, um, scarcity of water. Uh, in, in, in the last uh, 20 years, we, we've been consuming uh, only 3,600 uh, cubic meters a day from one plant that we have uh, in Genda. The Kigali water is now coming, producing, uh, I think, 40,000 cubic meters a day with a portion of 10,000 provided to Bugesera, which is already three times what we have been using. But again, the, the plant is not about water only. There is construction, there is work, there is job. So people in the in, in Bugesera district are benefiting. Actually, from the start, by the time we, they started building this plant, uh, our community got jobs there. Uh, now we are well, talking today, we are in a pandemic of COVID-19 that requires people to wash their hands. How do school kids uh, do that without water? How do our community uh, really wash their hands if there is no uh, water or if it is very, very difficult to, to access water. As a district, we came to know uh, Metito when uh, they wanted first to, they were identifying the land. We worked together in the land acquisition, compensation of the owners, um, in some cases recruitment of, of, of workers, um, laborers. Um, Security-wise, we partner with them to ensure the plant is, is secure using our community, using our police. Uh, having um, experts uh, like them is also another value to the district because it's no longer only about water, about the plant, but we also uh, do some um, uh, brainstorming on uh, other subjects affecting the district to come up with a tangible uh, proposal or responses. Tagaligari ngaja kubwa mama zetiri yako guriisha, unako bia atkoro heji. Nisu wakani ndi na kuyi onje wanda juma na jaga ria makato zoe, kuwe rani na mazi yabuzi. Mavuda fita na mafranga yako yagura, ogoni na karanga na gufura bi tarimo kambari bi dakuz. Kavu buzi ba hama zoe agazi mbesa katwe jira mumuzuz. Oka sanga ba nubara sana zaba rakara ba bara ambari miende fuzi. The reason why this project was successful is because it was a really good legal and regulatory framework created by the government of Rwanda. There was solid documentation, proper risk allocation, and there was a transparent tender process. We were very pleased to be approached by Matito to be appointed as the mandated lead arranger for this project. We worked together with the African Development Bank and were able to raise up to $40 million of senior and junior debt. In addition, we raised $6.25 million in viability cap funding from the private infrastructure development group. This was an essential part for the bankability of this project. So this was a very important project for us, um, as it was one of the first water PPP projects the fund ever did. IFC is the private sector arm of the World Bank Group. IFC has the investment side and the advisory side. Uh, so IFC advisory side supported government as the PPP transaction advisor in developing this project on a PPP basis so as to be able to deliver a bankable project for, uh, for the city of Kigali. The government had, had a vision of ensuring 100% connectivity for water in the city. That was very, very clear uh, from the beginning in supporting the objective for the project. The second thing is that we had a committed government. The government of Rwanda was very committed to support uh, the infrastructure delivery for water and specifically in the water supply area where there was a constraint. That commitment was very key in being able to then attract private sector investment and working in partnership with the private sector to deliver this project. The third and most important is that we got a sponsor who was very committed in delivering a project for, 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 for Africa and specifically for, for, uh, for Rwanda. It shows the potential for governments partnering with the private sector 
to deliver similar projects and therefore being able to address the challenges that most cities in Africa face today, which includes uh, water supply constraints as well as, as well as water distribution to be able to address health and sanitation, but also achieve the MDG goals. Yamaz, if you want to fit in in Genzi, Koko Mangan and Akoresha and Jakufo Mawang was game Kresha, Demokuiga, Kujango, and Zazan and Zazjero. Quite a Gakufo Mano Kore, Mijitondo, Kazakushuri, took Mazagutura Maz Mogo, Kazakushuri to Gasanga, quite a day away. A Kokanya Kata got to Jakuzan Maz, it took a Fasha to Gusura Mumasa Motkis. Zazan Jen Kuzao Muganga.